In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BABr2 plus K2SO4. This is barium bromide plus potassium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see there are two potassium atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the KBr. That balances the potassiums, two bromines, two bromines here. I have one barium, one barium. That looks good. Sulfate, sulfate. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, these barium compounds here, they're soluble most of the time. And then if we have compounds with group one elements, they're usually soluble, like potassium here. And sulfates in general, they're soluble. So this is going to be aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Barium sulfate, that's one we probably should look up though. So if we look at our solubility rules, most sulfates are soluble with a few exceptions. And barium, that's the first exception. So barium sulfate is going to be insoluble. We're going to treat this as insoluble in water for our net ionic equation here. Since it's insoluble, we'll put a little S for solid. This is going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Then for potassium compounds and bromide compounds, very soluble AQ. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Barium's in group two, that'll be two plus, and the bromide ion, each one is one minus. So we have Ba2 plus the barium ion. I'll write the states later. And then two of the bromide ions. And potassium, that's in group one, that'll be one plus each one of those. And the whole sulfate ion, two minus. So we have two potassium ions, and then we have the sulfate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So this is a precipitate, which is going to write BaSO4. Don't split it apart. We said potassium has a 1 plus and the bromide 1 minus. So we'll have those two potassium ions. And we'll have two bromide ions, just like the reactants as well. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, we have two bromide ions. In the products, we also have those two bromide ions. Let's cross those out. Those are spectator ions. Reactants, two potassium ions. Products, two potassium ions. Spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for BaBr2 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaBr2 plus K2SO4. If you look at the atoms, they're balanced, same on both sides, and the charge is balanced too. We have a two plus, two minus, that gives us a net charge of zero in the reactants. Products, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. That's it, this is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium bromide plus potassium sulfate. Thanks for watching.